What's going on everyone? It's Star Drop here. We're back for another episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. This is what? Episode whew, 47, I think? Man, I need to get better at, you know, knowing what episode I'm on. Last time we left off, we finished up in Agrabah. That would be all the things we need to do for Agrabah for now. Um, so let's move on to our next location here, Halloween Town. This is our second visit. And um, also, probably our last visit for anything plot related, like I say every time <laughs> with these new worlds. Visit them twice, and we're done with them, basically, as far as the story is concerned. Come back for other things later on. Nothing wrong with my design, it's flawless! There must be something wrong with the parts those imbeciles brought me! I need to find better assistance. Timing, gentlemen. Lend me a hand, won't you? These presents must belong to Sandy Claus, so I thought I'd better return them. You just happened to find them? Of course, Sora. I'm finished with Christmas fantasies, you know that. You thought you'd hold on to the suit. What, this? It's just a costume. And Sally worked so very hard making it. Come on, we've got work to do. Okay, so for this part we get Jack back, but he's wearing that ridiculous Santa Claus outfit. I don't know why he's doing that. <laughs> Uh, by the way guys, feel free to skip all the cutscenes in this game. Um, they don't contribute to anything that you really need to worry about. Uh, the only reason I'm li leaving them inside my walkthrough is just for completion sakes, you know, like... Might as well have them in here, I won't skip anything, so um, so we can have like the entire game recorded, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, when you're playing this game, especially if you're playing it like the second time, uh, just for the Platinum Trophy, just feel free to skip all the cutscenes unless you really want to watch them again. And I know some people would prefer to do that, but... Uh, uh, yeah, so that's that. Last time we got a new Keyblade. I'm going to quickly check that out. What was it called? Wishing Lamp. Um, I don't think it's anything too significant, though. Wishing Lamp. We got 4 attacks, 3 magic. The stats overall are not bad, but the fact that you get, you know, increased drop rate of money, HP, and MP, it's not that good because um, you don't use money for a lot of things in this game, and it's really easily farmed. And HP, MP, well, <laughs> leave that up to the items, right? Okay, let's move on into our second Halloween Town visit. Technically starting off in Christmas Town, but oh, it's okay. Oh, wherever did you find these? In Halloween Town. You'll be needing them for Christmas, right, Sandy? Of course. But these are just a few of the Christmas presents that were stolen. Stolen? Oh, Sandy, you don't think it was me? 
Still wearing the outfit, I see. I just thought I'd dress for the occasion. But if you don't believe me, then we'll just have to find out who really did it. Very well, I'll leave it to you. All right, Sora, Donald, Goofy, we're off! Okay, moving onwards, this way into the workshop, I mean, sweatshop, I mean, <laughs> toy factory. <laughs> totally an accident, I swear. Alright, uh, the noise comes from upstairs, but yeah, I just wanted to point out there is another puzzle piece over there and over here. Yep, still don't have any of those. In fact, I may have only collected like one or two <laughs> puzzle pieces in this entire game so far. They all have to be all eventually collected anyway, so. didn't you? It wasn't us. But it really sounds like fun. Run for it! Alright, we're gonna be playing a little mini game here. Um it's kinda dumb. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe this first. We have to fight them first. Oh, but fighting them is kinda like a mini game anyways, so <laughs> Okay, what you're gonna wanna do is um focus on one of them first and you want to just you know bring their HP down to zero. You can see their HP bar there, as always, if, as long as you have scan, that is. And when that happens, you just hit one of these boxes, oops, with um, with your reaction command, and you'll be able to capture them. Um, the problem with this, though, is you're going to have to um, capture all three of them at the same time, or around the same time, otherwise they escape. So if one of them escapes while you're attacking the other one, you're going to have to recapture him. It's still not like terrible, di terribly difficult, so... As long as you have, um, well, okay, you totally need to, like, aim at them. <laughs> okay, there you go, that's the second one. One more to go. And this one's already, like, looks like it was already pretty hurt. As you can see, they give you quite a bit of time. So, yeah, smack these boxes around until, uh, they get smacked onto the kid. <laughs> there you go. That was quite easy. And I gained an item slot. All right. Finkelstein's making us a friend. <laughs> Dr. Finkelstein. Okay, so that item slot is actually quite useful. I'm going to equip another potion to that slot. <laughs> Maybe even an ether. Eh. Don't really need ethers right now. I would say there are only like three kind of difficult fights in this entire storyline of Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, the fights after the main story, like the optional bosses and like the super secret bosses in this game, are difficult. Um, but anything in the storyline is quite trivial. We've already fought one that was difficult, which uh, which was Zaldin. So I think that was. Uh, a semi-challenging fight and uh, there's gonna be maybe one or two more coming up yeah every other fight is rather easy if you're playing just on standard if you're playing on hard yeah it gets a little bit more difficult if you're playing on uh, critical I mean wait it was what was it easy normal proud yeah it was proud and then critical uh, if you're playing on critical all the bosses are really hard so um, get ready for a challenge if you're going for that platinum trophy Okay, so we're going back to Halloween Town. Hold on. Yes, Halloween Square it was. 
So um, let's just start heading back there. The only problem with playing on critical is that, like m most of the bosses in this game, it's their attacks are difficult to dodge or block. But the thing is, when they hit you, they don't do a lot of damage. That's what makes the game kind of easy. Uh, when you're playing on critical, the problem is now the boss's uh, attacks are hard to dodge or block and they do a lot of damage when they hit you. So I would say easily up to 10 times more damage really, like when, you, um, when you're um when you playing on critical. Well, maybe like 5 to 10 times more damage. So uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's challenging. That's what I can say about it. Alright, let's play around with wisdom form here, just for the heck of it. Wow, that thing is taking no damage from my attacks. Okay, hold on, let me lock onto this. <laughs> Shoot my little whatever pistol at it. I wish I'd like switch Goofy back in so I can go to Valor form. I kind of want to level that up. Alright, but I do like uh, Wisdom form a bit more. It just, just because it looks better. <laughs> Maybe not in this particular map because all your dry forms look the same. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna get our dry forms, uh, dry gauges back upon entering this map, which is kinda nice. Um, nothing of particular note here. I'm gonna buy maybe a couple more potions. I have a lot, but you know what, let's get a few more. <laughs> and we shall also, oh, what ability do we learn? Goofy got auto change, meh. Okay, okay, it looks like they automatically place an ether in this slot, but I want a potion, so let's just do that. And moving on. Okay, let's see, let's bring in um, Goofy, and I'm going to go into Valor form. Yeah. Oh, would you look at that? We got Mr. Anti-Form. <laughs> okay, that's cool too, you know? Any form is cool. Oh, but now I can't collect any of the HP. <laughs> oh well. I like the way he dashes though. It's really cool. Wow. It's so fast, I can't even like control myself. And we don't get any experience in Anti-Form, which is kind of lame. Mm, the way you get out of it is, is you just exit the map. When you exit the map, your um, your anti-form goes away. But remember that going to anti-form is a trophy in this game. So, um, yeah, it's not it's not like a particularly bad thing. Okay, now we're back, and it took away all five of my drive gauges. <laughs> oh well. Where are ya? Those projectiles these guys shoot out can be blocked or parried. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Whoa, this thing has a lot of HP. It's almost like a boss or something. But it's not. Let's kill this thing off for 500 experience. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Another one. Oh my goodness, that horse statue is so creepy. Oh wow, that was like the first time I, I noticed. Really creepy. Not that like anything in Halloween Land isn't creepy, it's just <laughs> Halloween Town, sorry. But that horse had a particularly evil look on its face. Okay, another scripted encounter here. Nothing much to it. Kill the Heartless, grab the presents, and you're good to go. 
Yeah, you can tell which one has the present just by looking at it. Ow, what was that? Ah, I see. Not supposed to touch the sewer. Okay, fine, we'll hit you with magic. There you go. Grab that present. Ah, oh, damn it. No. Oh well. Okay. They're blocking my attacks a lot, wow. Oof. Okay, three drive gauges. Let's go! Valor form. <laughs> Better not get the anti form again, I was just saying. Once you go into anti form once, it's pretty unlikely that you'll go into it again, so. It's all good. A shame. It looks like it was such a nice present. Uh, Jack. Oh, help! Someone help me! My latest experiment is gone! It's been stolen! <laughs> what now? I think it was huge. All of a sudden, I was attacked. I collapsed, and when I woke, my experiment was gone. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> feel free to read the rest of this at your own discretion. I'm just gonna quickly skip over this. Okay. Sandy's house. Yeah, looks like we don't have to make the walk. I love these quick teleports. <laughs> quick travels. Alright, so something about the second floor, we're gonna go there, and take a quick peek. Aw, I wasn't reverted back to normal form. <laughs> but we have like six, uh, six bars of drive gauge there, so I mean this is gonna last quite a long time if we don't attack anything. Alright, Toy Factory! Okay, so here is the little mini game that we're gonna play. So, um, talk to the little elf here. And, oh, no, you can just go, let's do it. And it's kind of weird. <laughs> you're shooting, you're shooting a cannon at a bunch of gifts. And, um, press, uh, right, triangle to reload. But you can just spam the, the shoot button. Don't, don't be conservative, uh, don't be conservative with your ammo. Just spam, spam, spam. You can't hold it down for auto fire, but, you know. Okay, the objective here is 100, but a lot of these uh, boxes give you more than just one score. And yes, those three little things will continue to uh, annoy you while you're doing this. So uh, yeah, take them out when you have the chance. Obviously the bigger the boxes, the more score you'll get. Later on we're going to have to come back here and um, uh, play this minigame again for a high score. But right now we just have to get 100. And it looks like the time is unlimited. <laughs> Ha, there we go. Done. Simple, simple, simple. Not quite. There's more. Don't worry. I'll take care of the rest. 
Okay, got some decoy presents. Totally unnecessary to go into our inventory, but you know what? <laughs> Let the game do what it wants. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Then so we're gonna talk to Santa Claus. Go place the presents. Yes. <laughs> Should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do? Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the crew. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? Let me go. <laughs> Stop, Brooklyn! It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! Okay, we're gonna be fighting a boss here. Um, he's reasonably straightforward. Nothing special about him. Or nothing too difficult about him either, so... Yeah, don't worry too much about it. Okay, first, first of all, I'm gonna switch over Goofy to Donald. And, oh man, he's just attacking me like crazy. Okay. And, yeah, just hit him! <laughs> He's got quite a bit of HP, so um, expect the battle to last a little bit, and he was going to be continuously hitting you with a bunch of random nonsense. And, oh my god, really? You? Oh, thank you, Donald, for healing me. Yeah, it's a lot like the, um, uh, what's his name, Jafar fight that we did last time, which is really just hit him until he's dead. Yeah, nothing too special about this boss. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm dropping some lasers on you once in a while. But it's not a problem. I wish I were better at dodging this, but seriously, it's not even necessary. Alright, so when this happens, there's a reaction command you can press here. Oh, I missed it. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> no, I'm getting destroyed. Okay, you know what? I'm sick of it. There you go. I wasn't using uh, aerial recovery there. Okay. So that messes him up a little bit. Reaction command once again. Yeah. Hold on, I don't quite remember. Do you have to keep doing it? Hmm. No, it looks like now we can just hit him. There you go. Ah, look at that magnet burst. So good. Oh, gonna heal myself really quick. Okay, reaction time, reaction command here. You you need area recovery for this fight, as you can see. Otherwise, he kind of just juggles you around and you can't do anything. Okay, kick spring. Do that several times, and we're good to go.
Yeah, I'm not sure why like Kingdom Hearts 2 decided to do this, as in like they um they made two visits to all the worlds. The second visit just seems kind of uh, lackluster to be honest. It's like it's rushed. They didn't really need to do this. They could have just made more worlds, you know. But I guess that would be more effort <laughs> that you know the developers may not have wanted to to, uh, to put in. Okay. Oh man. Just, just, oh, <laughs> leave me alone. Okay, okay, there you go. I didn't get off any of the reaction commands. As you can see, I was juggled. Okay, I'm gonna toss a potion here. Or, you know, I'm gonna go into like master form. <laughs> just for fun. Oh, yeah. I like the yellow color of Master Form. It's a shame that we don't get to see it while we're uh, in Halloween Town. Actually, you know what? Master Form is like a pretty good choice for this uh, for this fight because the aerial dodge um, is useful. Too bad the form doesn't last very long. Okay. There you go. And my must my Master Form is done too. Boo. I kinda wish it would stay a bit longer. Alright, almost done. If I were a bit better at this at this fight, I would try to block some of the attacks, but as I said, it's totally unnecessary unless you're like playing on a really hard difficulty. Okay, and that's that. Wow. That was a longer load screen than I remembered. The thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm. The doctor has made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! Okay, with that we get a new Keyblade, the Decisive Pumpkin. Uh, the greater number of combos landed, the more damage is dealt, leading to a strong finishing move. This is actually um, quite a good Keyblade. Uh, it would be an improvement, I believe, on our previous one, or on our current one. Interesting. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween! 
What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift. To wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally. You've given me the nicest present in the world. And I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not your gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart. You bet. Tommy's not final. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? You know, Kyrie doesn't look like that anymore. <laughs> okay, so that puts an end to Halloween Town. Another um, nice and easy, nice and easy chapter that we just knocked off. And a trophy too. Yeah. Okay, so by beating this place, we should have unlocked the next route. Yep, we never even really went through that place, but, um... Oh, and this place. What's that? That big thing! That's what she said. Maybe that's the source of the weird reading we picked up before. <laughs> Alright, so that big town... Another huge energy reading, and it's coming from some place near the town. I don't know what's going on, fellas, but it sure looks like there's some big trouble brewing around Twilight Town. Okay, uh, with that, we can finally go into this path, which is the last um, Disney-related world that we have to go through. Uh, Twilight Town is now a, you know, a place that we can go to by going through this last uh, gummy strip route, Assault of Dreadnought. And this place, man, we can finally go into here, the world that never was. The battle level here is 50, so if you're not close to level 50, then I wouldn't attempt doing it because this is the last chapter of the game. So uh, once you go into there, it's it's not like you can't come back, but once you go in there, um, you might get destroyed if you're not properly leveled like I am. I'm like, what, level 37 or 38? Not even close. <laughs> so... Next time we come back, I'm going to go through here, the Sunlight Storm, to go into this road over here. And when we're done with that, uh, I can move on to like the real plot of Kingdom Hearts by going through Twilight Town and then going to the, the world that never was. And we'll be done the game after that. So, uh, okay. Uh, but we're done for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.